Puzzles are hard. So yesterday, may not be yesterday when you're watching this, but it's yesterday when I record it, and hopefully yesterday when I post it, I posted this puzzle. And I had a solution. And if you want to figure out the puzzle for yourself, go back and watch that video. Stop this video now, go back and watch that one, because I'm not going to go through the whole setup again. But um, in the puzzle yesterday, what I said I thought the answer was, was the best play, was to go triple lab and a villa. And I said that I thought that, well, in this case, you're not 100% to win. If you stacked both decks, you could still lose, but you're very, very likely to win. And I do think that that's correct. However, there is a way you're 100% to win. And I figured this out with some help from comment sections, uh, comments from Sharur, Christian Y, Simon YJR, and Psychomatic. And the way to win 100% is this. You go Villa, you go this, you Swamp Hag, you buy eight estates, and that's it. You could buy coppers or a city quarter. It actually doesn't matter. You don't want to buy curses. Um, but this is going to score you eight points. Now, your opponent has, if we remember from our game when we looked at it yesterday in the previous video, they've played three black cats and they have five. You have the other five. Which means in these nine cards, there are two black cats, which means they might be able to react uh, to you buying these estates twice, giving you two curses. So in this case, you would only have nine points. You would have netted six. It also would mean that they get a full turn, potentially at least, right? They're going to draw four more cards here. They're only going to have, um, well, actually, they don't even get a full turn. Forget that. But even if they could get a full turn, um, it wouldn't help them because the most money that their deck can make is 17 money and they have eight debt right now. So they even if they react to cats, they're not going to uh, to make enough money to, to score. But even if they did, the most they could score would be by getting one province. And one province would score them six points, it would seem. That would tie the score because you have nine and they have nine. But it won't actually score them six points because you have two Swamp Hags in play, meaning they're going to gain two curses, meaning it only nets them four points, meaning they can't catch up to you on their fleet turn. You don't have to do anything on your fleet turn, uh, except if you're playing online, hit end turn. Um, you could still do things on your turn. You're still very likely to be able to say get a province or something but you don't need to you have a guaranteed win right there so uh props to you if you saw this solution on the video the other day i want to post the correction and just to point out that uh well these puzzles can be hard sometimes i definitely missed this answer because i wasn't thinking about how limited my opponent's deck was enough and this straightforward emptying of these piles is just enough to cinch the game I do love me a good puzzle that uh, you give your opponent a turn to do anything they want and they can't win. So I actually quite like this puzzle. Uh, a guaranteed win that doesn't instantly end the game. Uh, anyway, uh, I appreciate you watching this. I appreciate you not um, completely giving up on me for missing in the second puzzle I posted, missing the, the best play but uh them's the breaks sometimes and i do try to correct these things when uh when i figure out that i've done wrong as is the case here hopefully we'll we'll have another puzzle for you soon thanks for watching